Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dirk Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the latest Extreme Z battle that has come for Transcendent Height Kefla, which is the Strength Kefla, and basically uh, the whole batch of EZAs that have come with her. Now it's important to take note that there is a bunch of special missions, which basically just require you to complete the Extreme Z battle that will give you the medals for all the extra characters. So you don't need to grind the medals if you do the Extreme Z battle now while it's up for the first time. If you are not doing it for the first time, there won't be the missions. You will have to grind for each of the characters. Now the effective category here is going to be tournament participants. The effective typing is going to be AGL. There are plenty of great options though, uh, especially in the tournament participant category, and there's plenty of great sub teams. So we'll definitely have a pretty easy time building for this, uh, but it's realistically the huge number of Extreme Z Awakenings uh, that have come with it that is going to be the most enticing to players. Um, you've got Int Vardos, Int Hit, Strength Kefla, sorry, Strength Kale, Tech, Caliph Level, and Strength Kefla. So you have probably one of the biggest batches of easy A's we've seen, I think, in a long time. And this is coming off the back of Global just receiving the first batch of Universe 6 Extreme Z Awakenings. So Universe 6 is definitely probably in the prime seat of having been upgraded uh, on the global and some of these look really really good we will talk about them in a bit more detail uh, obviously when we review each of these units but a lot of them are really really top top notch units a lot are really really powerful they got great kits um, they got a lot of usability um, so yeah but for me um, she looks really really good uh, or they all look really really good because yeah, I think in general they all look really, really solid. So yeah, basically uh, in terms of team building, pretty straightforward. So you need to build tournament participants. You can build a lot of different teams under the tournament participants category though. So you can build like an Earthbred Fighters team, you can build a USS team, you can build a Universe 6 team, you can build a Reps of Universe 7 team. Uh, you could build a World Tournament team. You could even probably build um, a youth team. So there's a lot of sub teams that you can build. I think the easiest way is to build a USS or a Reps of Universe 7 team. Um, that generally encompasses a lot of the better AGL options, especially USS that lets you use units like the AGL um, Kale, lets you use the AGL Kale and Khalifla, lets you use the AGL Goku. Uh, there's lots of great options and that you can use under the Reps Universe 7 or the uh, USS category. I think the other categories are fine. If you don't have a USS lead, um, you can possibly build other ones, but there's so many different, you know, you've got the N1718 as a lead, you've got Strength Kai King Goku as a lead, you've got Strength uh, Jiren as a lead, you've got Tech Hit as a lead, and all of these guys will work uh, for this Extreme Z battle. So, Realistically, USS definitely has, you know, the best options. You've got a whole bunch of reps of Universe 7 leads. You know, you've got uh, Tech Goku Freezer. You've got Int uh, Vegeta. You've got AGL Goku. All of them are reps of Universe 7 leaders. So, again, also you've got quite a lot built in. So, I just don't see a situation where you're not going to have uh, the ability to, yeah, you know, build a team using USS or reps of Universe 7. Maybe if you're like a super new un uh, player or something, you'll struggle. Um, but yeah, you should be able to build a pretty good team uh, and manage with quite a big load of USS options, which is why usually like I build a fully free to play team. Here, it just doesn't feel necessary. We will use some free to play options, but there are so many good units to build this team out of that realistically you shouldn't have any problems. If you're looking for like the most optimal team, it's probably a Universe 7 Goku, a Universe 7 LR MUI Goku uh, as your lead, uh, or alternatively a Strength SBKK Goku as your lead. Uh, Strength Jiren is also great as a leader because he gets those automatic crits against USS enemies. So you can definitely do that. Now just showing you stage 30, obviously you can see there's no real um, 
yeah, there's no change or anything. A lot of super types have been excluded, uh, but all int, tech, uh, AGL, etc., uh, all work perfectly fine. So we're pretty much good to go here. Uh, we're not really struggling uh, at all when it comes to you know completing this. So I don't really see any issues. Now talking about the units a little bit, uh, I think they are a mixed bag. Not so much in terms of performance. I think they all have their you know positions. Uh, realistically speaking like I think they've all clearly been designed to you know have their own uh, kind of positions or you know like abilities uh, I definitely feel like also people need to understand that some of these units were a big problem when they first came out like Tech Califla was a, a huge problem for the game when she first came out because she has automatic dodge pretty much on the USS team so she may not look great due to the fact that they are considering the fact that she's basically guaranteed to never get hit in events where they don't disable dodge. But yeah, uh, Tech Califla looks good. A nice change from her uh, you know, previous passive. Uh, obviously not too much in terms of the like dodge factor because you know that didn't need to be buffed or changed at all. Um, but she has a nice support factor added in and additional attack added in, which I think is good. Uh, and then she also obviously has the ability to fire additional supers, which I think is good. Uh, Kale as well was one of those units that just wasn't going to get a huge upgrade uh, in terms of like design. Uh, but she has crits in our built-in, which is great, which means you can kind of just go full additional on her. Uh, she also has additional uh, you know super attacks built in as well. And then she also has, of course, uh, guarding all attacks when there's a Khalifla in the turn, which is also super helpful. Uh, so a lot of these easy A's look really good. Strength Kefla looks very good as well. Infados looks very good. Um, you know, she's got that massively raising attack and defense, which could be super interesting. She's got a ton of support, uh, creates rainbow orbs. So she's got a very interesting kit as well, which I think could be um, very useful, very interesting. Uh, she's got dodge as well, that great chance of dodging. So very interesting unit. And then Int Hit, which again, you know, Hit suffers from being like the stun machine guy, but yeah. So you can see we completed the missions literally just by completing the Extreme Z battle. There was nothing crazy that you needed to do uh, to get them, so it was very, very simple, very straightforward. I will now awaken all of them and review all of them. Of course, I have a lot of them rainbowed and max link leveled, so it's going to be an interesting uh, time. But yeah, that's uh, basically it from me. See you next time. Bye.